You know, people think that mathematics is complicated. Mathematics is the simple bit. It's the stuff we can understand. It's cats that are complicated. I mean, what is it in those little molecules and stuff that make up make one cat behave differently to another, or that make a cat. You know, how do you define a cat? I have no idea. Yet in 1970, John Conway showed that even though life may be baffling in its complexity, the complexity arises from simple rules. The evidence came from a game whose results were so unpredictable that they called it life. Life had the most basic of ingredients a board with a grid of squares filled with counters. The fate of each counter was governed by rules. Unlike our universe, there were just three. I had this idea that if you had simple rules, um, but not too simple, <laughs> then probably things uh, would, complexity would just develop. We tinkered with the rules and played around and hoped something interesting would happen. And um, eventually we settled on the particular set of rules that we did. Uh, they were sort of slightly modelled on real life. The three rules they arrived at were the equivalents of birth, death and survival. What would happen to any particular square depended on its neighbours. An empty square, with exactly three counters around it, would give birth, so a new counter is added to the board. Any counter with too few neighbours would die of isolation and be removed from the board. A counter with too many neighbours would die of suffocation and also be removed. And any counter with just two or three neighbours would survive, staying exactly as it was. With only these most basic rules, unpredictable and complex patterns evolved. The board seemed to produce creatures from nowhere. Creatures that crawled. Creatures that fired out smaller creatures. Pumps that looked like a primitive heart. Creatures that spewed out an endless chain of offspring. My little life game is surprising because from the simple rules one wouldn't find, expect to find things that move in a sort of purposive manner and surprise us. That's I suppose why we call it life. It mimics life to that tiny extent. Like a little mini universe. Science dismantled the notion of life created with a purpose. In this rational universe, there's no need for a creator. There was no design in life, um, no design whatsoever. It behaves interestingly just as a consequence of random behavior. In this random universe, there is no special purpose in our evolution. We are simply the result of atoms, time and mathematics. <laughs>